Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. Today's topic, beer review. We'll be taking a look at the second michelada out of the value pack of micheladas that I picked up at Costco. 12-pack variety micheladas, really only two in the variety. So 12-pack of two different kinds of micheladas from Slow Brewing out of San Luis Obispo, California. The brand of the michelada, they call him Tio Rodrigo. I guess he's their michelada mascot or something. Tio Rodrigo, this is the original. In the last video I made, check it out. Last video I made, I reviewed their mango flavored michelada. I'm a big fan of mango micheladas. And uh, just to recap really quickly, I, I hope that you'll go back and see the last video just so I get that extra view. Let's face it, it doesn't hurt me if you go back and see it. Um, and it helps me in a small way as a vlogger. But if you don't go back and see it, basically it, it didn't have much of a mango flavor, but I rated it in the high four out of fives. Why? Because it gave that peppery, spicy michelada punch that I just have not been able to get from any store-bought michelada up to that point. So it rated high on satisfying that chiloso flavor that I want from a michelada. Now we're going to try their original. I didn't get much out of reading the uh, little story on the side in terms of uh, what's in it or what flavor it's supposed to contain or anything. Simply it's their original flavor. So let's trust them that it's going to be good and it's not going to taste the same as the mango. Now I'm gently mixing it don't shake this baby, you know, you beer drinkers. But I am mixing it up a little bit to kind of mix those flavors in the michelada. Let's hope that that gentle sway has been enough to mix the ingredients, but not so much that we're going to have an incredible explosion when I pop the top. That shouldn't have been more uh, moving than uh, bringing it home on the back of your motorcycle. All right, so let's see what we get. Let's pop that baby. Tio Rodrigo out of Slow Brewing, San Luis Obispo, California. Support your local California brewers. Here we go. There's the pour. As I say, <clears throat> it looked like we got a halfway decent mix. You can see some of the ingredients are moving about and floating about in the glass. Let's have a quick sniff, I can smell the, <clears throat> let's say the tomato-y, clamato-y kind of flavor. I'm not sure what exact ingredients they use to get that tomato back, but I can certainly smell it. <clears throat> and underneath that regular everyday lager, I don't smell much else. Let's see what's going on in the flavor department. Take a nice, big, hefty slug. Once again, right up front, and it lingers, and it hangs around, which is what I really like about these Tio Rodrigo's, is that powerful, peppery, spicy burn that you get along the top of the palate and, and a little bit of the uh, front of the tongue. That spiciness, boy, it is there. Not red hot, but it's got that little bit of chiloso that me and I know a lot of you uh, michelada drinkers out there are looking for. So it's got a bit of a burn, and in that sense, it's a decent michelada. Not bad. I'm going to score that. 4.5, 4.5 out of 5 Costco's. <laughs> All right, so 4.5, not bad. You're looking for an easy lager. I think it comes in at something like 4.6 ABV. And so it's not heavy. It's, an, it's not a big beer. You can have a couple of them. They're not going to wreck you. 
and you get that michelada spiciness. So on that sense, it's a good beer. But now I'm going to come back to that whole bit about that mango, which did, you know, give it more of a well-rounded body. Because even though I didn't taste mango so much when I drank the last one, the mango flavor, I can see how it's more full-bodied of a beer than this one is. So if I find myself shopping and I find myself looking at Theo Rodrigo's, should I have the original, right? Should I have an original or should I have the mango? Go for the mango because it's more full-bodied. And it's not going to overpower you with mango anyway, <clears throat> because they just don't put enough in there. And so in that sense, it's a bigger beer, more full bodied. This one, okay, 4.5. The third beer that they put in there, they call it like a make it yourself. Um, the third beer out of the variety that they put in the variety pack is their regular lager Clara, clear, it's just a full-on lager that they make. And then you're supposed to make your own michelada. So you're supposed to make your own ingredients and then fluff it up into a michelada yourself, which I'm not going to review here because it's just a basic lager. What's it going to taste like? A basic lager. And we don't review those, all right? <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. And listen, I, no matter what, it's not the best michelada in town, but I'll tell you what. At Costco, for 10 bucks, 12 pack, comes in around 70 cents a beer. You just can't beat it. A 70 cents michelada that tastes pretty good, that's not bad. Not a bad thing. All right, so once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.